For the past two years, I've been working as a data analyst. It's been quite rewarding as I learned the fundamentals of data literacy and analytics. I learned how to query data to retrieve a data set, develop a working dashboard with business specified KPIs, and validate data that is appearing on the dashboard. Well, being a data analyst is rewarding and I get to help the business by developing analytical reports, I realize that being a data analyst is just a stepping stone in my career. So I moved to the New York area after I got married this past month and it's been super fun hanging out with my wife, trying new things, reconnecting with friends and yeah, just really enjoying the new stage in our lives. For me, whenever I come to a new place that means new goals and new aspirations and I thought this is the perfect time for me to set out a new goal in my career. And currently as a data analyst, in my mind, there are three options in which I can go into, whether that's staying in data analytics in hopes in being promoted to a senior level role or being a manager in the future, or I can switch to data engineering, learning more about the data pipelines and ETL processes more specifically. Number three, being a data scientist. So as you can probably tell from the title of this video, I have decided to pursue data science. I also wanted to share with you my why because I think it's pretty important to have a why whenever you start something new. Your why basically gives you that motivation to push through the hard times and especially learning data science there's going to be a lot of instances where i'm gonna have to push through so i have to revert back to my why i've had a couple of conversations with current data scientists and they all share something similar and that is they're all very curious and with that curiosity comes with a lot of creative solutions to different business problems and i want to head into a career where I can be creative in the different solutions that I'm applying to different business problems. And in this way, I'm able to learn something new each and every day. Since that's my why, here's my how I'm gonna learn data science as a data analyst. And thanks to the abundance amount of resources out in, in the internet, and thanks to a couple of data scientists out on YouTube, I have created my own roadmap. And the list of these concept skills, there's not a specific order that I'm gonna learn them in. So since I've already learned a couple skills and concepts while being a data analyst, such as learning how to use SQL, learning how to use Excel, data visualization and data validation, and that's only scratching the surface of what I need to know in order to become a data scientist. And the first concept is advanced mathematics. That includes linear algebra, learning matrices, and learning machine learning down the line. The second one being probability and advanced statistics, and that includes uh, distributions, mean, median mode, and standard deviation, and a lot more. And the third being calculus. So those are the three areas that I am planning to learn and really dig deep. So once I'm pretty comfortable with the mathematics and got that under my belt, the next step for me is to develop my skills in coding with Python and SQL. And thanks to being a data analyst, I have a basic understanding and basic skills of SQL, but I want to sharpen them more, learning more advanced techniques of SQL. And with Python, I want to learn more about data structures and also the various libraries that data scientists use uh, for their data science projects. So the third area which goes hand in hand with the coding is learning how to apply machine learning and the concepts that I've just learned into full blown projects so I can develop a portfolio. And I talk about this in length in my previous videos on how important it is to have a portfolio when you're applying to technical roles such as data analysts, um, UX designers, software engineers, it's all the same. You need to have a portfolio. Just having a resume is just not enough to show potential employers, potential recruiters that you have the skills in order to perform. Having a portfolio is an excellent way to showcase that you have a really good understanding of the concepts and you know how to apply them. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. After I've learned all these concepts, I am gonna be starting on multiple projects so I can show I can actually do the work.
Before I move on any further, I want to talk about Grovemade. They specialize in designing modern desk systems and office accessories. Before they reached out to me, I was looking at them for a while and I was just in awe of the quality and tasteful designs in their pieces and wanted to get some upgrades for my desk setup. They were nice enough to send me a couple of their products including their popular desk shelf system which is made from solid maple. It provides an ergonomic lift and fits all kinds of things to make your desk setup less crowded and more organized. If you want to upgrade your desk setup, check out Grovemade. Be sure to use my link down below or enter code JSHIN10 for a 10% discount on your order. So the fourth area that I want to learn data science, and this is probably more specific to me, but if you have these connections, definitely leverage them. So I'm part of a data team and we have data scientists on our team. So I've gone ahead and reached out to the data science lead in order to ask if there are any opportunities to take part on the work that they're doing, any projects that I can be a part of. And this will allow me to gain real life experience. I think this is probably the best way because you're learning the projects that they're working on. You're learning the actual methods and skills that they're applying to solve real world business problems. So you're probably wondering what are the resources that I'm gonna be using in order to learn data science. And there's a ton of resources out there and it can be pretty overwhelming and you can get lost if you don't have the right directions. So the first resource that I'm gonna be using is Medium, which is an open platform where people can post articles, and there's a ton of articles regarding the career of data science, whether it's new tech, um, things that you need to learn to become a data scientist and everything in between. So it's so easy. I download an application, got the subscription right away. Every morning I read a data science article and I learn something new every day. So the second resource I'm gonna be using is Coursera. I just finished a course on linear algebra. Just learned the basics of matrices, systems of equations, and it was a great resource to kind of learn the, those concepts. So the third resource that I'm gonna be using is watching YouTube videos regarding the different concepts and just filling in the gaps where Coursera and Medium don't really cover. Those are the three main resources that I'm gonna be using in order to learn data science. So I'm honestly pretty scared to embark on this journey of becoming a data scientist as I get overwhelmed with the amount of things that I need to learn and not to mention it's a really competitive field but I know in this life nothing is worth having comes easy. I'm excited to be challenged to learn a lot. Yeah, hopefully I can enter this field with ambition and curiosity and if you're interested in data science come join me in my journey and I'll see you guys in the next one.